anyways so while this is loading uh last night uh before i did decide to jump into a little bit of skyrim uh i actually looked up like a tip video for this game and now i'm starting to see what the reasoning between all the barrels out in the wild are apparently i i didn't know that you could combine um small potions with large potions together uh now i see why there's um poison potions because apparently they heal undead people and then also i found out that uh health potions do damage to undead people did not know that now i know that um Apparently also if you combine like nails with boots that'll stop you from slipping if you combine it with um, something else I can't remember off the top of my head it was nails and something else if you combine them together you get lock picks um, and then also I found out that if you use like oil like all the the poison bins and like fire bins and that kind of stuff if you combine a weapon with that then it gets a little bit of a uh, damage attribute which is pretty cool that's all new to me did not know that at all so I'm looking forward to trying out some of those things that I learned last night All right, here we go. Cool. So we got that spider kiss uh, <laughs> update last night, or uh, talent. Uh, definitely interesting. Let me see. I don't know if there was anything else down here that I really wanted to grab or do. Aha. Oh, it's the arena. Oh, and here's a waypoint too. Nice. Uh, we'll talk to them in just a second here. So let me see if I actually have, do I, do I have nails? Set this to sell. Wooden box. Open that up. I kind of wish I told you when you already read a certain book or, or something. Um, I think I'm going to look up how you make the, the lock picks again. It was nails and something else. Thanks. Divinity Original Sin 2. Oh, n wait, needle? Oh, nails. Needle. And hammer gives you it. Nails and soap plus a key. Interesting. I also learned last night that apparently if you have, um, okay, so a needle plus a needle, nine inch nails plus a hammer. Okay, I see. I also learned last night that if you have um, a, what was it? Uh, let me go to this guy. Crap, now I can't remember. Oh, if you have a undead character that uh, if you use them instead of uh, a lockpick, then you get a, it's basically free. You automatically can open up things because they have skeleton fingers, which is actually pretty cool. 
Uh, I also learned that if you use like this, throw items into the bag, uh, instead of filling out your entire bar like I have it set right now, you can just open the bag and do that instead, which is really cool. So I'm doing that real quick. Move all these down here. I'll even throw these in here as well. Because why not? Those require level 11. Okay, so I'll auto sort that. And then you can put the bag on there. So then if I click that, it opens it up and you can use it. Cool. Let's go to her. Throw all these scrolls in here. Whoops. The cool thing about this too is from now on any new scrolls and uh, other stuff if I get another one of these current scrolls it'll automatically go in there which I really like um, that'll help keep everything down and then I'll throw this right here red prince he doesn't really have much um, to hold on to so Open up this bag for myself, and this is where I'm going to throw in my scrolls as well. If you haven't already, you should go to gameplay settings and disable auto hotbar stuff. True. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that now too, since now we're starting to get um, a lot of stuff hotbarred. Whoops. Let me close this out. There we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, I think that's everything. I could throw the potions in the other one. Let's remove these. Options, gameplay. So I'm gonna remove yeah, arrows, grenades, potions, and I'll have it just pretty much skills. One expensive backpack. And I'll actually throw this right here. I think that's good. I never understood what the back to backpacks were for. Yeah, I learned last night that apparently, so say in like a case like Ethan, I use uh, him for like all the arrows and stuff. So before they would all get added to the hot bar like really quick. But now if you throw them in here and then you throw the bag on the hot bar, say if I'm like fighting somebody, I can open up this and then click on one and then use it and then close the bag back up instead of having like okay all these arrows in my hot bar and wanting to choose it right then and there it's just two extra clicks which isn't it's not bad at all i don't think um so i also learned that nails are a lot more useful and that uh forget what the other thing was um, can't remember the other one tussling. let's see if you got some fight in you Mary Kondo would be proud <laughs> that's just a way to organize yep pretty much ah, it's the spirit but I've got to tell you you probably want to see Murga around the corner before you draw blood She's the champion, and she's fair. She'll want to talk with you herself before she'll assent to any challenge. Watch your words, mind. She takes against you. There'll be no talking yourself into her good graces again. On your way, then. Uh, talk to... What was her name? Murga?
Wait, who am I talking to? Figure it's time to prove yourself. Let's get it done. Bigger, it's time to pass the spirit. She'll want to talk with you herself before she'll ascend to any challenge. On your way. Bigger, it's time to pass the spirit. But I've got to tell you, yep. she'll want to. On your way then. Okay. Murga? I don't see her. Oh, unless if it's right here. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I see you. Oh, and the marker's on her too. Okay. Cool. We can chat with her. In the shadows, a dwarven woman spits obscenities down more fodder for the arena. Curling her torn lip back over broken teeth, she grabs your hand and pulls you down to the ale soaked table. Never losing eye contact, she begins arm wrestling you. Ha! Your science won't help you here. In the arena, she glimmers in and out of view, merging with the shadows. Crowing, she slams your hand down into the table. I bested that void woken below us, you know. Dragged that scaly lump down there with my own two hands. So, since you can't hope to beat me, what is it you want down here? Ah, based on your performance so far, that's cute. <laughs> but I shouldn't judge your baby steps. The lion judges not the pussycat, eh? Persuasion. The look she shoots you is withering enough to ruin a harvest. I don't owe you squat, but if you've got enough heart. Ah, go talk to the raucous one. Tell him I sent you, and he'll set you up for a challenge. Prove yourself worthy fighting my acolytes, then I'll knock your teeth out. Okay. All right, so back over to this dude to tell him we're ready to fight. Wait, where'd he go? Why is he invisible like that? Figure it's time to prove yourself. Coke with Murga, and you're ready to is fight. That so? Well, looks like the crowd will get its money's worth, for sure. You accept her challenge, do you? All right, just make sure to keep the blindfold on. You take it off, you lose the challenge. Real simple. In any case, you're in for a treat, laddie. Better than sweet cream stew on Lucian's day. Who's coming along with you? A nearby party member is a join you there at your command. Of course they're at my command so what do we have permanent uh permanently blinded i see first guy is him okay get him up top here and can we take a shot targets out of sight are they out of sight i literally see him what is this too high up Are you kidding? What? I think it's actually too high up. All right, we're good, we're good. That doesn't cost any AP. What? Target is still too far. Oh, I, th I guess it's because our accuracy is pretty bad. Oh my God. Blindfolded either. Wow.
Oh, you won't be able to attack, but. Can literally you you have to actually be up against them okay wait did you just teleport yeah he did what level are they they're level 10 Cost two, that cost two. Damn. Can't do anything else. I hate how his physical armor can block that kind of stuff. Battering Ram or Incarnate Ranged Attack. We'll go up here and attack this thing. <laughs> of course. Really? It's my luck. Nice. I didn't even see this guy. Oh, 
Wait, what? Oh, I meant to do this one. Is one. Wait, what? That killed her? What? Bro. Nice free movement. Please kill him. There we go. Executed. She is like a hydro and um, forget what she has. She's mainly like hydro and uh, arrow and then a little bit of geomancer. But that's pretty much it for her. I have two points left if I go up here. <laughs> Chicken farm. <laughs> nice. Attack the chicken. Oh, are you kidding? all they can do I remember having her use a wand to give her a really good shield really she has a, the only thing is she has a lot of her points in um uh two-handed instead now but I could nice to see the cub has some claws and you proved yourself against my little challenge come on Show me I'm alive. Talk to the raucous. She winks over her. Nice, so that revived everybody. Do you ever do melee attacks often? No, I don't. I like never have her do melee attacks. It's almost all skill or um Yeah, it's almost always skills. It's only because we are blindfolded during that uh, challenge there that everybody had to be super close to each other. Two-handed single attacks isn't useful then. Yeah. Nice show out there. Oh yes. wait, is that? Wait, so if I go here. Oh. Uh... So you're saying? If you have two points in that, uh, 
No, I put points into that. So you're saying if you attack somebody with a staff, like physically, that's where two-handed comes into play. But then ranged, okay, so ranged is okay because that's when you're shooting your bow or crossbows. And okay, and so with I, uh, this for the the prince, I, so a good amount of times he does attack with his two hands. So okay, I uh, I don't have any for my guy. Okay, I see. Because it's basically physical damage. I see. I see. Yeah. So for the longest time, I thought that when you when you when you use the staff, that uh, the staff was going to use the ability like the like fire, you know. Um, but then I started to realize that it's the staff of Magnus, Magus. So that's the the staff's ability instead. Nice show out there. But you're wands are here. the ones where if you're using a wand and then you flick, then it'll just all that damage tells you what type of uh damage it does. Okay. Wands are ranged. So interesting. Maybe I will switch her to so if she has one handed, um so if I put points into one handed, does that uh, increase the base damage of the wand? Damage accuracy when using single handed weapon, dagger, sword, axe, mace, or wand with a shield or an empty offhand. Only if you're using the wand itself. Okay. And not skills. Okay. So like you just click on somebody. Yeah, okay. So maybe swapping her to a wand would be better. Or I could just remove the two handed and then put that into something else completely. I see, I see. I could actually, before we even do anything. Since it's so easy to travel everywhere anyways. Staffs usually give good stats compared to wands, and that's the advantage of that, but using one wand and a shield helps with more armor. True. Especially if somebody's squishy. So if I got a abilities... Or now, talent? Abilities? Oh, wait. Oh, you can't move them? Scroll down. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's weird. Uh, two handed. So let's remove it off of that completely. Dude, five and eight. Really like that they don't punish you for experimenting free respect. Yeah, exactly. It's it's so much better. Yeah, I, I really like that. I think that's like one of the highlights. 
because then you can like instead of making a new character nothing is locked you can just change at any time beautiful <laughs> actually though nice show out there your smoldering yard wait what was nice show out there oh this will be a scotcher who are you taking along you only get this one chance so keep your wits about you all right show time and we're not blinded this time either oh boy does she have what the hell that was easily like 10 10 attacks all right i'm gonna move him up here and then from here do that Critical hit. Oh my god, she's almost dead. I could charm her. Wait, turn her into a chicken. Yes. <laughs> Target character. I'm gonna do this. I'm ready. Oh, God. It broke out. That's not good. Loki, look, Loki, a champion. Good for my belly. Good for my happiness. <laughs> Stunned. She's down. three abilities left so let's see
Let's move right here. do anything else all right take him out and about the dwarf bounces up and down with glee extraordinary son just extraordinary the spirit of the one has yet to settle but it hovers near it knows your great feet I feel a just praise your earning though giving you this key too the dwarf bellows out to all with I proclaim thee the champion of the Driftwood Arena. Get your gloat on and take a swig of ale. Help! Nice. Mm. Gloves. Strength 12. Uh, boots. Or the cap. All right, go with the boots. Nice. Oh yeah, perfect. Actually, I needed boots. <laughs> that works out. I forgot I lost my last pair because I took off finesse. So she's like dead now. Seems I can't use that right now. Was the Driftwood Arena protected by traps? One of us is a champion. We gave us a treasure here and warnings a champion to claim the prize. Okay. Uh, hold on one second, Jack. I'm going to take a quick break and run to the bathroom. So I'll be right back. All right. I am back. Now let's see here. No go. Not now at least. Let's give this a shot with the E-Pen. Oh. Oh. oh God. Quick, move quick. Oh no. Healing. <laughs> what? So even if you get in there, you're dead? It's that thing. 
explode back. Now go. Not now, at least. What? What hits you like that? The oil? Oh my god, I'm getting hit by that this stupid thing. I need aid. What? Seems I can't use that right now. Go ahead. Oh. Bless the first door, then go through and either jump or climb the ladder to the platform, which is the pot still. Turn the valve so you can stop the pipes from blowing petrifying air. Petrified, I see, I see. Okay, so... Once down there, bless the first door. Go through it, either jump or climb up the ladder to the platform, which has the pot still. Pot still. God. That is the pot still. Okay, I see. Wait. On the valve on the pot still so you can stop the pipes to allow you to open the next door when the chest has a key to allow you to unlock the next thing okay 
cool. Floyd Arena was it completed? Just get them out of here now. <laughs> As you walk super slow. There we go. Not bad. I'm gonna save right there real quick and then I'm gonna check something. That's funny. I'm looking at some of the stuff on the modding page. Let me check what there is. Just curious. All right. Close that out. All right, let's just go to the next area, I guess. Not like really anything extra to do right this second. So, someone f Impressive. They'll see I was trying to see if there was a way I could bump myself up by like one level or so. Just so I'm on par. But um doesn't look She's like smart. that's not that's really an option right this second.
check up here. There's some uh, some stuff going on what right do you here. Want? Boss is busy. Loha, you've been living under a boulder. Stick around long enough. Listen up. Don't waste his time. Not here to chit chat with the likes of. You're really ticking me off, Marla. Easy, Marla's one of us. Not no more shit. Not here to chit chat with. Her. You're one of us, ain't you? I brought you up from girl to woman, Marla. Like you was my own. He lifts his right arm, showing a white bandage beneath his ribs. This ain't the thanks I expected. Who sent you? <laughs> the formidable dwarf slams his fist on the side table. You hear- Enough! Do you know they killed Anhar? Do ya? Start talking sense or I'll take that tongue right out of your mouth and fry it for supper. Bart! Kate! Get her to talk or bleed her out. His sneer travels from the restraint. And you, you better have a damn good reason. For Brave lad. Also, I hope for your sake you've got good news for me. What do you think was gonna happen? Family matter. She's one of mine. Acting like her brains are scrambled, though. Lucky for me, she caught an old wound. So, how'd you make it out of Fort Joy? So, I noticed about that. You made it. Ask plenty of I've got people. They've got people. People talk. The mad but me. Oh, here's one I heard lately. A group of strangers landed on the beaches outside. You one of her little seekers? Chasing down Godwoken and begging them to save us all. Hmm. So? What do you want? Reckon I do. Knowing Sifa, she sent you looking for sorcerers up. I could help you. But last I heard, you was working for the Magisters. Big shots at the boats. Now, why in the name of all the Earths would I help a worm like that? An unpleasant smirk twitches around. Right. I reckon I could help you out. Depending on what you can do for me. He gestures to... Had a bit of family trouble lately. See what My he has Marla in mind. got it in her head to come after me with a short. That ain't like Marla. Ain't like her to pull the silent treatment. And wouldn't you know it, that blade she used wasn't any normal bit of steel. Belong guy's name is Mordus. I sent a few guys to go check on him. See if he knew what had got into Marla, but no one can. I'd like a word with the guy. Say so it sounds reasonable. That's where you Glad should you start. No one's seen him in a good few. Tell them I sent you, and they'll let you know what they've found. Truth is, they might be glad to see you. Reckon a sorcerer will have better luck finding one of their own. Good. One more thing. Like I said, Mordus is a sorcerer. If there's something you want to find out from him, you might want to ask before I have my work. Here, you can take this off my hands. More suited. Good luck. Nice. What say you? Step off, lest you want to taste. The battered dwarf pulls. <laughs> All right, so law of the order, search the wreckers cave. Don't incriminate Lord. What do you think was gonna happen? So if you like combine it with like this Invalid So, what do we have to do with 
If they got nothing to hide, they got nothing to be scared of. Yeah? Your group of the Magisters paging anyone up that looks at them funny. Damn right. Oh, You're that's right that key. Throw me the whole throw, okay? Isn't it great or good? I don't think you know even a smaller good if it bit you on the arse. March of humans unabated. This world of war and cruelty they created. They shall not stop till all the world Alright, let's go over to the uh over here. What was this quest? I'm all right. A bit long now. Hide and seek. Grab all southernmost area of the entire map. That's where you left the first and disembarked upon a shark that doesn't want to go back to the water out of fear of the void woken. Check over here. Ah, shark. <laughs> A dying shark lies gasping on the sand, bleeding from the mouth and gills. It turns its dark and soulless eyes to you. Its bloody gills open in search of water, but find only air. It gasps in the air, struck. No, die here. <gasps> Monsters in the water. Monsters in the deep. Monsters bigger. <gasps> It looks at you with its cold, flat eyes, as if to say, do what you will. Then, it turns away. It looks at you with its... I love how it flips upside down. Wait, it didn't say anything else what to do after. Zombie? You know what's going on, CS Killer? Uh, it was a, a talking shark. Oh my god. <laughs> Kept running over to me, dead civilian. What happened here? Uh, nothing that we can see. Dead civilian just leads back over to here. I'll take the source though. Alright, let's travel back over to square. Hello, mister. The little boy. We're waiting for Jeff. The water looks nice. Act two, yep, just got here. 
all right so hide and seek I'm trying to do this hide and seek quest real quick just to see if we can level up to 11. uh i'm gonna go back to that put it as we're in looted for ability have an elf eat the leg to see if it's wait what Whoa. There's fate. You also you see common lunar. Oh wait a minute. I just thought of something too. Oh wait, not that. Uh yeah, the dunes. Where's that guy at? Right here. Totally thought, forgot that you can do spirit vision. So maybe I'll be able to talk to a spirit. Is the body gone? Oh no, there it is. The spirit floats in front of you, his eyes unfocused and darting from looking down at his mangled corpse at your feet. You see that the front is relatively unmarked, but his back has been eviscerated. Long, jagged cuts run the spirit's eyes move in your direction, trying to- A voice! Oh, I can still hear it in the dark. I can hear it whispering. He won't stop. His voice was everywhere. Hit insects with a dwarf's tongue. They came from above. The spirit doubles up, raking his hands across his face, ghostly nails cutting deep into speck. No, I can hear it. Not the spirit shudders and cries. Oh, divine Lucian, protect me. You seven ancient gods, please. Don't let it get me. The spirit's eyes dart left and right. It reaches tentatively a hand out for a moment, but thinks better of it and turns away. No. The spirit cowers before you, mutter. A dwarf's voice. From a demon's throat. So apparently, do I still have that mask? Yeah, I do. So if you put this on and then you use the turn into an elf. And then a boy at swim. Your name is Joe. You're nine. You're brave. You're off to see your mum. A shadow moves below you. A jagged vice closes on your thigh and pulls you down. Water fills your lungs. Blood. Boom. Sweet. That was pretty cool. I uh, let me discover this. The spirit cowers before you. A dwarf's voice from a demon's throat. Try running over here. See if any spirits pop up. Huh. Oh. Guess I should have seen that coming. <laughs> uh, yep, sure do. Or oh, did, least ways. All bulls can see the future. I'm surprised you don't know that. That's what? nice. Not so bad so far. You sure you wanna know? Uh all right. The ball shakes itself. Swar the world's gonna end. Oh God. Uh, let me think about that now. It'll vanish. It'll be there. I've no idea how long that'll take. But could happen any moment. Could take millennia. The ball. Yeah. I don't suppose you could do me a favor on it's this year, Arnis, so as I can make my way to the field of echoes. Hmm. 
Sure. The ball nods its thanks and gently fades away. I knew you'd say yes. <laughs> That's funny. The spirits of a magister and a dwarf are locked in ethereal combat. Their vicious blows make sorcerer. You must hate the Reds as much as I do, eh? Rightly so. Reds had sorcerers locked up tight in that caravan. And you know where they were sending them. The Magister lunges for the Dwarf, his exasperation clear. Hanha, you saw it with your own eyes. You know Sorcerer's Law, Voidwoken, and you know we'd all still be alive if you hadn't attacked our caravan. So the Magister is under a foot about the wrecked caravan. The Magister's shoulders collapse with relief. His burden lifted. We tried to help your kind, and you'll help those who enslaved you? You're a wrong and a no mistake. What? I've little to say to one who parleys with magisters. I mean, I know, but like, Doubled still. over in agony, this noting the attention, he straightens, revealing insignia spelling Kinnit, and a jagged wound spilling his innards upon the ground. He reaches a ghostly hand into your chest and squeezes your heart. You become Kinnit. His memories flooding over you and replace warmth, comfort. You are Kinnit, playing cards with your mates in a cozy barracks. You st it's a one-man job, a job no man wants. Your sly-eyed troop leader holds out straws to you and the others. Who will investigate? You feel the short straw and hear them shout, Kin it! You know what that means. A lonely traipse in the cold dark. You do massacre. Your lantern reveals ravaged corpses in every direction. Inhaling sharply, you smell a thick black stench you remember secondhand from the few void woken corpses your troops have found. Uh. No. Kinnit's tears fall from your eyes as you recognize his beloved weapon master. A dark thicket rustles to your left. A claw rakes sav staggering back from Kinnit's deathly grasp. Only your own blood now pumps through your heart. With your living eyes, you see him trembling in front of you, desperately holding out three straws. As your hands pass through the straws, they disappear. Kinnit weeps with relief as his wound disappears in turn and he's restored to the model image he looks around, then looks at you. I've little to say to you. I've little to say to Damn it. Oh, we tried. So from now on, whenever we, literally anytime we see a body, I'm just going to do spirit vision. Uh, spirit of Big Marge. Monster, monster! Poor little paper, there's only one way. Papa! <laughs> Uh, we'll fast travel back to the square and then go down to these kids here. Hello, mister. The little boy. Hello. Cool. How did you. Mister, have you seen. Tell them the truth about Joe. They have. What they don't know can't hurt them. Don't tell them. Kids are resilient. Tell them the truth. The horror grows on their little faces. No, that's a horrible thing to say. I bet it wasn't Joe. I bet it was someone else. She bursts into tears. I know. Then it's looks from you to her and back again. So sad. Then starts crying too. Two people voted yes. So I was like, all right, they voted yes. I feel like they they should know the truth, even if they're young. After a moment, the crying subsides. So where's Joe? <laughs> It's okay to say you don't know. You don't have to think we should go home. Come on, Ben. 
Bye bye, Miss. They skip away. Still children, but now some. Interesting. All right. That was not as bad as uh, as I was expecting. Oh, there's the dog again. Hackles raised. The dog barks at the sand. You're nice, and I'm a good dog. Yes, I am. There's something not right, and that's wrong. It's under the house thing there, and it's bad. I can smell it. Not like this. Wait, can we get underneath there? Alright, um, 